All right, here we go. Do you want to build an AR and watch Eric Swallow's head explode? <laughs> All right, guys, good boy 32 here. Check it out. So what we're looking at is a new AR build. I'm very excited about this thing. Again, we're going to utilize this right here. This is the Air Precision M4E1 or whatever they call this thing. But uh, the reason I'm using these is because it's absolutely awesome. Secondly, the reason I'm using it is because we are doing a MOAR 15 pistol build. Just like the MOAR 15, this is going to be set up pretty much identical to that specific firearm, except we're going to be doing a pistol size. Now, you're looking at this right here. This is the 300 Blackout that I shot or I built just recently, and it's using the SBA3 brace. This guy right here absolutely is incredible, and I'll tell you the reason why. Pelton targets out at 600 yards with a 300 Blackout with a 10 and a half inch barrel. Guys, that's pretty cool. But again, the, the problem with 600 yards with a 300 blackout, uh, I believe it was 110 grain. And pretty much, uh, it was almost like you were just tossing them at the, the target at the end. But in any case, one of the reasons why this guy's out here is because it has what they have, the SB brace. All right, so now I got a call from CMMG. They've got this guy right here. This is their new rip brace. So fastback technology deploys instantly. Uh, and this is the complete kit. And I thought it'd be perfect to utilize this on the MOAR 15 pistol build so that we can see how well it operates. But secondly, this guy right here is out here because we're gonna do a comparison between the two. All right, so here we go. Let's get rid of this. All right, guys. So anyway, I got a call from uh, CMMG the other day. I met the boys down there at uh, the Iraq Veteran 888 shoot. And I will tell you this, man, they put on one classy stand. Those guys had it going on. They brought everything they had. They loaded up a bunch of mags, let everybody shoot their stuff. But in any case, one of the cool things is, is they developed this rip brace in conjunction with the guys down there at SB. So let's take a look at it real quickly. What this thing has is called Fast Back Technology. The patent pending feature makes rip brace instantly deployable and allows you to simply pull straight back to extend the brace. No locking tabs to bind when dirty, no release lever like most extendable pistol braces. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. I wanna see the differences between this guy and the regular SB brace. So. What's the big deal? Well, there's some additional cost to this thing. Uh, this is going to retail for, I think the whole kit right here retails for right about $199, according to what I've been told. I, I anticipate mm, probably that price will fluctuate depending on how the market goes. But uh, the P3 technology, personal position preset. The P3 technology offers multiple customizable length presets to ensure the brace extends to your personal position every time it is deployed. Simply adjust indexing screw into one of the holes to customize your own preset. The package includes the CMMG rip brace, one enhanced receiver extension, one P3 indexing screw, one spring and buffer, and an ambidextrous sling plate, and a castle nut. It's pretty cool. So they do give you the castle nut, they do give you the uh, spring, the buffer, and the whole deal in the tube. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what you got. All right, now that we got this thing out, let's go ahead and continue to take a look at it. Features 6061 T6 aluminum tube, ambi, blah, 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 compatible with the AR-15 platforms, the CMMG Guard 9mm, the CMMG 22, standard mil spec rip brace can be used on AR-style firearms and AR stock adapters. All right, so let's talk about setting your P3 position to adjust the rip brace to your custom P3 position. Remove the rip brace by pulling Reinstall. All right, so let's get it on. So the first thing we're going to do is going to open this thing up and take a look at it the way it sits right here. So what do we have here? We've got a castle nut. We've got the end plate right here. We've got a set screw right there. A buffer. All right, so this is going to be our set screw. All right, so let's take a look at the buffer tube. What is different about this buffer tube than the other buffer tubes, just the regular old buffer tube, I guess, is you can see right here in the holes, you've got the indexing threaded holes right there for the indexing screw. And then your positioning notches have a slant to them. As you heard, when I pulled this thing out, it made a click, 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 click. So I guess that's what they're discussing as part of the rip bracer, the rip stop technology. So let's do this real quickly. I'm going to put this back on here. 
And I will tell you this, it's very tight, so there's not a whole lot of movement. Go ahead and put it on like you normally would. So it, moving back and forth a little bit, but you just pull it out. So you don't have to worry about putting anything in there. So what you do at that point, I guess, is you go ahead, you put the indexing screw in to the point where you want it to stop at. So as where this guy right here, you actually have to pick out a spot where you want to go or wherever you want to be. With this guy, all you're doing is you're just ripping it out to wherever it's going to stop. So let's take a look at this guy right here. All right, so that's the screw that goes in there. And I guess you put it wherever you want it to go. I kind of like my stocks not fully extended, but I like them about one notch in. All right, so the screw is going to require a 964th hex head screw tip. Put that in there just like that. I'm going to install this in that second section right there. There we go. Not too tight. And now what I want to do is I want to put this on here just like this and pull this all the way out, and bring it in. Look at that, no movement, a little bit of movement back and forth, but, all right, I'm digging that. So you just reach in there, grab it, boom, you're done. The only complaint I would have is that there's a little bit four and a half movement on there like that, but nothing I can, can't deal with. Let's go ahead and put this on that lower and see how well it looks. All right, guys, so we got the lower pretty much assembled so that we can go ahead and locate it onto an upper uh, an upper receiver set. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna reposition the camera so we can show you how this thing works. Well, first, before we do that, let's go ahead and just put it on here. Boom, there we go. Put it on, and there you go. That's where this one right here you actually have to press and push it down. You're still moving in there. All right, let's relocate the camera. Here we go, stand by. All right, guys, well, that's it. We put it on this upper receiver just to see what it's gonna be like. And I gotta be honest with you, I am, actually, I'm digging it. Uh, at first I was thinking what a gimmick this is, but in all honesty, if you're carrying it and you've got something sitting here like here, bring that, put it in. You can lower it down just like that at any point carry it up you're in position you're always repetitively placing that brace or your stock right where it needs to be so i'm impressed with it uh, the price line uh, retailing for 199 that's a pretty hefty price to pay for this thing i imagine that down the road it, we may see a uh, price drop as it goes out to market and more uh, ready to go with some of the retailers but i'm going to tell you something guys I am digging it. It uh, does really, really well. And again, I like the ability just to do this. If I were to say I had anything bad to say about it, I would probably say uh, the base uh, plate right here. I'm not a big fan of these things, uh, the clip-ons. Is that something that's a, a killer for me for the deal? No, it's not. I could care less about that stuff. The only, the only thing is, is with the way I hold and use a rifle, I'm, I get all the way up in there and my hand always hits those uh, D-rings or those rings. So um, that, that is not a killer for me. So anyway, basically guys, that's it. This is the CMMG Rip Brace. I'm digging it. You can find a little bit more information on these things at cmmginc.com. That's their website. You know that YouTube doesn't like us putting those things down there, but uh, I love this thing. I really do. I like the advantage of being able to just go, boom, you're done, and you're deployed. That's it. Guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. Let's go to War 32. Out. Get the thing out. Pretty neat.